What's up, everyone? Hope everyone is doing amazing today. So today I want to speak about how can you find as fast as possible your first winning product? Guys, the first thing that you need to understand is that the winning product comes down to the product first. So if you don't have a good product that people want, then forget about it you won't be able to do anything about it. So please watch my brother's video. It's going to help you a lot to know what a good product looks like compared to a product that isn't that great and won't bring you results, won't bring you a good ROI. So now in terms of ads, I'm going to speak about in terms of ads, what are we looking for and what do we want to do in order to find a winning product? And please take the time to like and comment this video because I'm going to share with you what literally no dropshippers are sharing on YouTube. I don't know why. Maybe they are scared. I don't know. But every single dropshipper tests products daily. Every single dropshipper, they test product daily. And I'm still one of them. My brother, we test product daily. Some of them test more, some of them test less, but at the end of the day, we all test product products. So how can you find a winning product as fast as possible? Well, the first thing that you need to understand is after that you nail down the product research criteria that you know what to look for into a product, you want to massive testing. And that's why I tell people, you need to learn how to control your budget, because I'm going to share right now in a few minutes, what is literally that I do and what are the different results that I get? Because a lot of people, they, you know, they see a winning product or they see a product that is not a winner, but they don't see the in between they just see the beginning or they see the end, but they didn't see what's happening in the middle. And I don't know why some dropshippers, um, they don't want to share that. And well, it's up to them, but we created this channel to have the biggest community on YouTube in dropshipping, solely in dropshipping, solely in dropshipping. And we wanted to do this because, you know, uh, we know that dropshipping is a very, very lonely world. Uh, we come from, you know, a poor country, as you guys know, but also uh, we immigrated to Canada uh, when we were, when we were very little. And in Canada, nobody knows what dropshipping is. And even till today, there's more people that know about dropshipping in Canada, but it, it's not mainstream. When you tell people, oh, I'm a dropshipper, it's like, what are you doing? Like, are you say, selling something illegal? No, we're not. We're selling products online, um, but people still don't know uh, what is it. So we created this community because we want you guys to not feel alone and to understand what uh, dropshipper do on a daily basis, on a daily basis, what's their struggle, what's their success, and we're going to be transparent. And like I said, the more you like, the more we, uh, the more you comment, the more we share. So don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and we're going to share more and more. So like I said, uh, when it comes down to uh, a winning product and when it comes down to finding your first winner as fast as possible, you need to test every dropshipper test. And as you can see, like, um, you know, I've here narrowed down to uh, the, you know, uh, descending. So there's ascending and there's descending. I narrowed down to descending. So I show you, you know, the bad ones um, first and the good ones afterwards. But as you can see on this account, I tested Chinese lipstick, zero sales. Dino pet, zero sales. Eye patch remover, zero sales. Derma stamp, zero sales. So even though we have a great strategy, some product even get zero sales. You know why? Because at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. And you're not bulletproof against not having a winner. Like a lot of the time, most of the time, your product won't be winners. But by the, consist the consistency of testing, you will be able to get great results. It's like going to the gym, guys. If you go to the gym, but you go once a week, you eat bad, 
And even if you go like during five years, nothing will happen. But if you're consistent and you know a little bit about what you're doing, you're going to get better and better and better. And if you try to learn and improve uh, in yourself, then you will get better, 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 better. Same thing in dropshipping. Eventually, you're going to test more and more and more and more products, and those products will get more and more sales. So as as you guys see right now, I obviously only show you the ones with zero sales. Um, but like I said, he drew hound, fidget pen, knit ring, nail a tools, neck with spine pillow, display box, ear wax, custom vintage. But what's going to happen is eventually we're going to see product that get one sale. They get one sale. It's not the end of the world. You know, most of the time, uh, it's probably lucky sales. So one sale, one sale. So those are all, pro again, those are products um, that got two sales, but they didn't do anything uh, more. Two sales, fidget gloves, so two lucky sales. Even those ones, they got three sales. Those ones, they got... Um, you know, four sales, uh, those one five sales, six sales, those ones uh nine. So it looks like you know this this plushy thing we were able to scale it a little bit. So we were able to scale the plushy thing a little bit, um, with a few sales. But like I said, some winners will bring you. 30 sales. Some winners will bring you a thousand sales. Some winners will bring you. 10 sales. So it really depends. Like people think that a winning product will bring you like a million dollar. No, guys, there's different kind of winning product. And that's why you need to test and be consistent. But if you're consistent and you test, um, you know, good products, then you will eventually find a winner and faster than you think. But the, the thing with dropshipping is that little details matter. So if you don't do things correctly, what's going to happen is that you're going to end up testing too many products or spending too much on one product. And you need to have a balance between do I spend more or do I spend less? And when you know what is the right balance and you start testing products like this, you will find winning products, 100%. Uh, as you can see now, I was scaling this product, the uh, envelope challenge, and you know this product has just been you know doing crazy. So as you guys saw, some product bring me one sale, two sales, five sales, ten sales. Uh, some of them I was able to you know the plushy thing. I think I was able to scale it to like 50, 60 sales. Afterwards, it, it, like it started dying. Um, this product we were able to scale it like to over a thousand sales. Um. Again, there's different kind of winners, but that's the secret. The secret is first one, knowing that you have a good product. After then, you know they have a good product, you test it. Doesn't work, move on, find another good one. Test it. Doesn't work, move on. Okay, you got three, four sales, don't get in love. Move on, move on. And eventually, you'll find a product that will bring you a good return on investment and will be able to skyrocket your business. That's basically how does it work. And eventually you will be able to start testing even more to find more products and scale more down the line your business. So yeah, guys, this is literally inside of our drop shipping, um, you know, TikTok ad manager. Um, that's literally what we do. We don't hide anything. This is literally the product that we test. Uh, we, you guys probably saw it multiple times, you know, the phone screen protector, the saving book challenge, um, the cargo pens, the Spider-Man mask. This one got three sales, uh, the turmeric soap, three sales. So that's the thing that I'm saying, guys, uh, not every product will bring you um, sales, not every product will bring you sales consistently and not every product will be able to scale to a million dollar. So the, the, the technique is that you need to identify those products quickly. You know, this product right here, I, um, let's say the Spider-Man mask, I spent $60, but I got two sales. So at the end of the day, after expenses, after everything, I probably, uh, spent $40. Let's say I spent $40. Um, after I paid the mask with the profit and everything, I spent forty dollars. Most people, when they get two sales, they get go crazy and they start spending hundreds of dollars. Don't do that. Same thing here: two sales, um, uh, and thirty dollars 
uh, CPA. So I just move on this, this one to two sales, move on two sales, move on. So as you can see, I move on pretty fast because I know what a winning product looks like. I know when I have a winner in my hands, when I know that I have a winner then I scale it, if I know that I don't have a winner and it's probably lucky sales because, you know, we have a structure that tells us that those are lucky sales based on certain metrics. And when we identify, uh, if it's a, a winner or a a uh, lucky uh, lucky product, then we uh, we try to do either scale it, either move on as fast as possible because we don't want to stick to those um, things right here. And yeah, guys, that's basically what you want to do. So if you want to find a winning product as fast as possible, you need to have the proper strategy. Afterwards, that you have the proper strategy, you want to start testing. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment and wish you all an amazing rest of the day. Take care, peace out and